I'm gonna show you the list that I put together for the best apps to create YouTube thumbnails with, and it's gonna work on both Android and iPhone for all of the apps. But before we jump into that, I wanna hear from you. Go down, leave a comment below, let me know what app you're currently using to make your thumbnails with. Then if you're new to the channel, drop a hashtag new, followed by your question or comment. I read every single question and comment, and I reply to as many of them as I can. And when this video's over, I'm gonna go down there and carry on the conversation. And of course, if you're not yet a subscriber, hit that subscribe button, followed by the notification bell so you don't miss anything, including future videos that are gonna help you master your mobile. Now let's dive headfirst into the first app. PicMonkey. PicMonkey is a really easy app to use. It's probably the simplest app to use on this entire list. You basically open it up, you pick your canvas size, you drop a background color on it, and you add your text and you add your pictures and away you go. It's super easy to use, so download it, see if it works for you, see how you feel about it. I think it's a great app, but I don't like it as much as the number two app, which is Snapseed. And that is my all time favorite app. And if you've been on my channel for any length of time, you know that Snapseed is the champion when it comes to photo manipulation and photos in in general, and I highly, highly, highly recommend Snapseed. And I'm gonna put a link to a video that I did right there where I walk you through making a simple YouTube thumbnail using Snapseed. And by the way, Snapseed is free, no ads, and in my opinion, it shouldn't be free, but it is. So when this video is over, download Snapseed, see how that works for you. My hunch is you're probably gonna love it. And don't forget to watch the video that I just linked. Next up is Canva. Canva is a template based system. It's a free app. It does have some paid templates, but you have tons of free ones to choose from. They also have a website you can go on, canva.com. How Canva works is after you download the app, you browse through their free templates and you choose one that you like and you can change the text. You can change the background pictures. You can adjust it in any way, shape or form that you want, or you can just start with a blank canvas. Now Canva, in my opinion, is the perfect app for somebody who's just getting started and they're kind of intimidated by a blank canvas. So check out Canva or canva.com if you wanna start with a pre-made template. And by the way, though, this is not a thumbnail if you're interested in YouTube header art. I made a video that I'm gonna to link to right here where I take Canva and walk you through how to make a YouTube header or channel art. Now I need to mention that it's important when you're using any of these apps, the proper aspect ratio for a thumbnail on YouTube is 16 by nine. And that's what gives you the ratio that you see right here when you're watching an HD video, 16 by nine, not nine by 16. That's something that you're gonna use for IGTV, which is gonna put it in a vertical format. So 16 by nine, that's the ratio that you always want to use when creating a YouTube video. Next up is an app called Fotor, and you might not have heard of Fotor, and to be totally honest with you, this is an app that I'm gonna make a standalone video on, and I'm gonna show you how to do thumbnails and YouTube channel art, but for this video, I just wanna mention it so you can download it, check it out, and get comfortable with it. So when my video comes along where I teach you how to do a thumbnail or channel art, you know exactly how to use the app. It is a super powerful app. It's one of my personal favorites. Check it out. Next up is what I believe is the most powerful all around app that you can possibly have in your phone if you're on YouTube and Instagram and IGTV. It is a free video editor. It is a free photo editor. You can make your thumbnails. You can edit vertical video for IGTV. This app is a powerhouse. It's called InShot. You want this on your phone if you're working on multiple platforms. Trust me on this amazing app. The text options inside of InShot are incredibly powerful too. You have lots of options there lots of control. It's a fantastic app. This is an app that you're gonna to wanna to put on your phone for sure if you're on YouTube, Instagram, and IGTV. It is kind of a catch-all app that does everything, and it's free. How cool is that? All of these apps are free. Of course, some of them have paid versions if you wanna remove the ads, but you can use the apps for free, so that's what we focused on today. And of course, there are other honorable mentions that maybe should have made this list, but I'm sticking with five, and that's Pixelab and PixArt. Both are awesome, awesome apps. Maybe I'll cover them in a future video. And if your app didn't get on this list today, Day, leave a comment down below, let me know which app it is. But keep in mind, today's apps were free apps. So I did wanna list Photoshop and Lightroom, some of the Adobe products and some of those. So free apps only, if I missed out on some good ones, leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, I do appreciate it. If this is your first time here, be sure to hit that subscribe button, followed by the notification bell so you don't miss anything and you can continue to learn how to master your mobile. And I will see you in the next video.